Good morning, Chapleton. Another Monday morning. Last week I wasn't able to be here, but I am now. This is Auntie Janet greeting you and just getting ready to share with you what we do on a Monday morning. We take Jamaican stories, songs, sayings, whatever that apply to a biblical truth or principle, and we I share that with you. Today, I'm going to share something. It's going to be very different, but I need and ask you to listen well. I am aware that this is the last Monday in April. And coming up in May is what we in Jamaica celebrate as Children's Month. But I want to say something to you. I want to tell us that the command of Jesus, when he said, let the children come to me, for such is the kingdom of heaven. Um, I think that there is a mandate. I grew up hearing the song you hear in the background. There's a mandate from God to let this happen, to let the children come to him. I remember Esther talking to us some time ago about allowing the children looking after the children that children don't many times don't have a place to share what's happening with them all right they don't know how to sometimes voice what they're facing and i am going to hit something that's very tender this morning and it is something that you may even feel bad about maybe we don't want to talk about it but a few years ago maybe our second to last um, camp that we held with the children of Chapitan. what I found was many of our children are being illegally touched, raped, having sex with, I'm calling it like it is this morning, and they don't have a way to come out and tell us that they need help. And I am calling it out as a Jamaican practice because I want to tell you this, it's even in the church. You understand? It even the church where we have older men touching or picnic doing, you don't know what they do. And I'm asking us this morning to let's get behind the command of Jesus to suffer the little children. Let the children come to me. When these things are happening in our church, we're preventing the children from coming to Jesus. And I want to share with you all a story. Because I remember once there was somebody who our father was very careful about. Um, and nevertheless, there was one time when something happened when I ended up with this individual. And I, that's another story. But may I tell you something, say, but for the grace of God, when that person tried to take off my frock, you know, hear me good, my dress, I rip it off. And as a little girl of 12 years old, I did not know what to do. This was a grown man. And I was so shocked. I was so shocked. I thought, what is this happening? But let me tell you something. I heard it must be the spirit of God. But I hear when something say, give him a kick. And when I tell you, say, I land a kick. Right in the exact spot, if you don't know what I mean. I landed a kick. And what I'm telling you all is some of our children don't know how to do that. They don't know how to say that. They don't know how to even... If it's a grown person, they don't know how to act them. I think it was something it's supposed to be right. It's a practice. It's very common in Jamaica. When we were at the camp, we had out of all the girls... I was talking to every girl maybe 90 percent nine out of every 10 girl was able to tell me say them brother them father uncle or somebody from the church uh, in America they call it I molest them I touch them wrong listen to me this is a serious business and some of them don't know how to kick like me and don't know how to run but it's because I knew there was a place I could run to. There were people who would believe me. I remember I shared with Esther and Carol and they believed me and I thank God they did. Let us start believing the children. Come on now. I don't know how we're going to work this out, to be honest. You know? 
But I remember once I asked Sister Denise and Sister Karen, would they be willing to say to the children, you can come and talk to us. We have to create the place, church. We have to. So this is my devotion this morning. It's simple. But Jesus said, suffer the little children. Let them come to me. We can't keep having this. And I'm praying that us as a church in the upcoming month of May, that we will be able to let the children come to Jesus. We will be able to let the children come to Jesus. Maybe it's by listening to a child by opening our eyes and paying attention, by not saying, oh, that's okay, it's all right, I saw it go. No, 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 let's listen, let's hear them. And I'm going to invite everybody to give some talk to this. Let us talk about this thing. I remember I shared this with Aunt Sybil months ago and she told me, she said, Janet, from I was a child, this has been happening even in church. So I beg us all, please, today, as we approach the month of May, which is Child's Month, let us all participate in Jesus' command to suffer the little children to come unto me. Let us take the children to Jesus. Can you help me to do that? Can we just go ahead and say, Lord, here are the children. They came through me. Here are the children. I am praying for them. Here are the children. I'm hiding them. Here are the children. I'm protecting them. I am asking us to let us suffer the little children. Let us tell them and let us be that safe place for them. So they can come to Jesus and he can heal. He can deliver all the pain in the name of Jesus. Can you do that for me? Can you help me? I appreciate it so much. God bless you. Thank you, God. And hold them to my bosom. I'll be a shepherd to these lambs. Oh, try them not away. For if their hearts to me they give, they shall with me. Father, we make a collective decision this morning to bring the children to you. Teach us, God. Show us how. It's such a complex situation, but they need you. They need to know that you heal, that you understand, that even if they're groaning or crying, you are there. You're not okay with whoever it is, whether it's an authority in a church or outside the church in their homes. God, it's not okay for them to be abused and molested and touched inappropriately and wrong. Nobody enough it touched them that way. So God, show us. Show us how we can make a difference. Show us as a church, as those who love our children. Show us what we can do, God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I know it was a sober message this morning, sober devotion, not true, but walk good and look out for the children. Make them walk with you. All right. <laughs>